Hello everyone, it's Trapperbotics here. Today in this video, I'm very excited to show you my latest project. It is a part two to my other Duluth lift bridge. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I plan to make a comparison video to show you the differences between that one and this one. This model is based on the real thing, which is in Duluth, Minnesota. And similar to the real thing, mine actually works. All you have to do is put in this crank into the model. Then if you twist it, you can see that the bridge actually lifts. Now I'm gonna go through some of the features and then at the end, I'll show you how the bridge lifts and how that function operates. Starting on the left part of the bridge, you can see there's a couple trees um, for decoration. Um, a few things I want to point about, out about the bridge itself is the uh, lattice architecture I used, which actually wraps on the side and all the way up to the top, all the way to the other side of the model. I also used some interesting building techniques for this um, side part here, which gives it a really cool look from um, the view of looking at it this way from the driver's perspective, which I think looks really realistic to the real thing. There's of course um, a driving platform where the cars go up and into the bridge. Uh, and lastly, there is the pier. Both piers house two different things. One of them is a house and the other one is a lighthouse. This again is very realistic to the real model. Moving to the main focus point of the bridge is the actual lifting bridge itself and then the arc that goes up around it. So for the top lattice piece here and here, I actually use the exact same piece. Um, they're built the exact same way, just copied over. And despite doing something like that, I think it still looks really unique on both sides. Um, it looks um, really good both ways. A couple other things to point out are a few of the things on the other side. These are all things that are actually in Duluth near the bridge. There is a little boat. Um, there's a museum here. And then there's a dirt walkway and some rocks. I didn't want the sides of the model to distract from the main focus point. So I still wanted to include some of this, but I didn't want it to um, be too much, which is why I cut it off at that point. On the actual moving bridge itself, when the cars drive across, um, there's a very gridded pattern, which I did replicate using these grill pieces. To operate it, there is this separated piece here, a uh, lever of sorts. So you can actually plug this on, plug this in on either side. For now, I'll put it on this one. Once it's in, all you have to do is rotate this lever. And what that does is it winds um, string up along that axle, which pulls the bridge up as the string is connected to the bridge. One other feature I wanted to add was something where you could stop the bridge at any point because right now if you let go it'll drop down and so I want to add something where you can freeze it in any position so I hope to do that later. One other thing I wanted to note quick is that this bridge is actually a lot smoother than my old model and there's a couple reasons for that I can touch up on in my comparisons video but for now I just want to focus on the point that the bridge is very smooth to operate right now and it's actually very fun to move. If you enjoyed this video please leave it a like if you want to see more like this, robotics and reviews, please consider subscribing to Chop Robotics. Thanks for watching.